So I will tell you about uh, the Go programming language and uh, how it support with in the geospatial world is. So I'm Jakob Mix. I work at the company Citicom. We do, um, among other things, uh, broadband uh, internet uh, planning. And in this context, we uh, developed our own spatial data infrastructure and we use uh, Go as our backend. Also a lot for um, like some business logic, but we also uh, use it for requesting some, uh, uh, for example, geo server. And in context of this, um, I was investigating about Go, how it could fit into the geospatial world. So um, I made a list which libraries exist, and I will show you later. But first, some short introduction what uh, Go is actually is. So it's a programming language uh, developed by Google in 2007. Um, so it's quite old already, but it's uh, Got a bit popular, a bit uh, got popular a bit later. It's uh, quite has quite readable syntax, only a very few keywords. It's uh, quite fast and versatile, but it feels like when you program it, it's a bit like Python, so it's very easy to read. And um, it's what I uh, see. It's very often used um, either for web services, so you provide an API, or for command line tools. You can use it for anything else as well. But this is the um, the purposes which I've observed mostly. Also, the development experience is very nice. So, uh, your installation is quite smooth, and all uh, it has batteries included. So, when you have, you pretty much have only one command line tool, which does the formatting. Um, you can run it, you can build it, um, and when you build your program, you can run it on multiple operating systems without any dependencies. You can just give the binary to a person and it, they can directly run it and don't need to install any um, Java environment or something else. It's just like it stands for itself. And um, also there's a few things like the syntax or like the formatting. It's uh, directly defined in the language. So if the program is not correctly formatted, it will not compile. And there's only one uh, way to format a Go. So that's, that's why there will be no arguments how you have to format your code. That is quite nice. So I um, compiled a list of uh, geospatial um, libraries and the Go programming language. So um, you can find it on GitHub. Um, I have here uh, libraries which are um, existing. So for example, um, there's uh, two uh, wrappers for the proj um, library for reprojection, one for uh, geos, and also for GDAL should also be two somewhere. And then there are some command line tools. For example, Imposum is for uh, importing OpenStreetMap data. Cogger is for uh, producing uh, cloud-optimized GeoTIFF and uh, GeoParquet uh, command line tool. Also, there are some servers. For example, PG Feature Surf. Um, I uh, introduced it uh, yesterday a bit. And um, yeah, so my uh, observation is that it's mostly um, used uh, for um, as a kind of uh, wrapper. So for example, this PG feature surf is um, reading data from a, a Postgres database and um, building a HTTP API on it. So there sometimes you can do some geospatial processing, but very often I have the feeling it's very limited. And um, so there's one uh, library, uh, like one project we developed. Um, it's also in the context of Geo, but it's we don't really use some uh, geospatial processing. So we use it for um, publishing uh, QGIS uh, plugins, and uh, we also open sourced it, and you can uh, use it. <coughs> and uh, finally, um, what is Go suitable for GIS? So um, first of all, it's, it's accessible and fast. It's good for uh, especially APIs and command line tools and easy for deployment. But I have the feeling that GOS, uh, GIS ecosystem is comparatively weak. So you have libraries for um, specific things. But I have the feeling it's only one maintainer doing this. And the um, update cycles are not so fast. And there's no clear bindings to GDAL, Proj, or GEOS. So if I compare it to Rust, which is also a um, kind of newish language. They all have much uh, clearer bindings uh, to like GDAL, Proj, and Geos. So um, this could also be an alternative. But if you just want to create a nice API or a command line tool with a very specific use case, Go is definitely an interesting alternative. 
All right, then here I have some links for you, and then uh, I'm thanking you for your attention.